up YouTube? My name is Alchemix. You've just found your way to the Alchemix channel. And today we're looking at a little project that I set up a while ago. I got this truck I'd say about a year ago. Um, it's been a fun project. It's a 91 Mazda B2200. And it was pretty much stock when I got it. This one has undergone some surgery. You can see uh, we shaved the antenna. We shaved the gas filler door and relocated the gas tank into the bed. This is a nice piece. The, the Cali Combo uh, came with the roll pan and the tailgate skin all as one piece. It fit really well. I got to give them props for that. The tail lights came off of uh, Amazon or eBay or some shit like that. But they fit with the theme pretty good. The wheels are from a Suburban, I believe. They're 20s on some low pros. And uh, I curb them on everything. I fucking hate it. This uh, bed cover actually came off of like a Dodge. I just kind of deconstructed the frame and uh, reused a bunch of the parts to make it fit this little bad boy. It doesn't fit perfect, but it fits pretty good. I don't know if you can see in there very well, but there's a monster notch that comes way up and over that axle. And it's just sitting on one leaf spring with a three inch block to drop it way down. So it's actually got a really smooth ride in the back. It's almost maybe a little too sloppy. It bottoms out on the stock shocks that are still in there, which is a huge pain. Inside, nothing too special. It's got these uh, racing bucket seats in here, which are pretty nice. I don't know if you can see it, but over there, the little blinky lights, uh, that's a Bluetooth adapter that uh, goes to the new brain after I swapped the engine. And that interfaces with my phone right here, so I can have my digital dash and display right here on my phone. I never took the time to wire every single thing back up to the speedometer and stuff. I mean the speedometer works but most of the electronics I never even bothered putting the gauges back in. I just have the digital one going. It's got HID headlights and blue halos that are pretty awesome. And Washington State hooked me up with this. They put 420 right in the middle of my license plate. How fucking badass is that shit? I had another buddy down in Arizona that we were always hoping we would get 420 in the license plate. And finally I got one. So this is the engine. It's been swapped over to a FE3, or in other words, it's a Japanese Miata motor, or the 2002 and 3 Kia Sportage had it but basically it was the best swap ever because you go from having an old carburetor on a clunky motor with a single cam to having fuel injection and dual overhead cams OBD2 a lot of the nice modern uh, things that make it a lot easier to start your car and tune it and have it be reliable. So yeah, this is a 2.0. It's a little smaller displacement than the 2.2 that was in it, but doing this swap gets you better horsepower and best, better gas mileage, which is one of those uh, conundrums that's hard to achieve sometimes. It's just one of those no-brainer swaps. Had to hack out a whole bunch of material to clear those giant 20s. You can see down there, there's some 2-inch drop spindles, and while I was in there, I did a ball joint flip to get something closer to about 3 inches of drop, and uh, it rides okay. I definitely, uh, I'm excited to see somebody slap airbags on this bitch. That header came off of a, off of a Miata, uh, the 1.8 Miata, and uh, it just runs back to an 18-inch resonator, and it needs that. It's too loud, way too drony without a some exhaust on it but yeah for the most part um, it's just really simple there's only one belt I have here to the alternator 
This is manual steering, manual windows and locks. It's about as stripped of a car as you could ask for, which is great because it just makes it a lot more simple to maintain and all those things. This entire swap mostly came down to this little extra fuse box that I added in here and these two relays. And then it just basically splices between the stock harness for this motor and the harness for your truck. It really wasn't too bad. The other challenging part, I don't know if you can see it too well, but right down here, I had to drill a hole in the bell housing to the transmission at just the right spot so that the crankshaft position sensor could know when to fire the spark plugs and all that stuff. But yeah, it really feels a whole lot like like an import. Honestly, it feels a lot like a a little a little ricer, but the nice thing is it's rear wheel drive which makes everything so much better. Uh Yeah, it's got an electric fan that I hooked up on it. I took off all the mechanical stuff. It's got a little adjustment on it down there where I can set the temperature of the fans kick on a nice aluminum radiator was already in here when I bought it overall I'd say it was a really fun swap and I would recommend people if you're looking into it to go for it Sounds a whole lot like a Honda. Yeah, it's a whole lot more peppy with uh, with this motor. It's definitely not a race car, but there are people that have put turbos on this swap and some other crazy stuff. I personally, uh, I think it's pretty good. Just. Uh, just as is. I figured I better get in here and shoot this video because I actually just lined up a buyer for it and it's gonna be gone pretty soon. Definitely was a fun one. Uh, low riders aren't the best cars to have in Seattle because our roads are garbage and and low profile rims and everything just not 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 the best car for daily driving and commuting and stuff like that but definitely a, a fun one and I'll give you uh, updates because the guy who's buying it he wants to put airbags on it and put some paint on it this is pretty much good to go like I, I got the 4x4 uh, fenders and hood on it helps to clear the big rims and uh, most of the hard work piecing it all together has been done. It's just time to really finish it and make it lay frame. Got to get it down those last few inches. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're looking into an FE3 swap, I highly recommend it. It's definitely one that if you do your research beforehand, it'll pay off and uh, it'll help you build kind of the confidence you need to swap engines and splice wiring harnesses and that kind of stuff. Have a good day, guys. Love you. Take it easy. Peace.